This is Ancel AD530. I reviewed a bunch of different engine code readers and I think this is one of the two best. I will connect it to my car and I will show you what it can do. So this is OBD port, plug it in and see it will start automatically. Okay, so we have this battery test, turn the ignition off, start detection. I am not sure how this works for a hybrid, but for a normal vehicle you wouldn't want to see something like that because good battery shouldn't be dropping below 10 volts even when we are starting the car. So it can tell you if your battery is good or bad. Then we have setup, so settings like language, units of measure and you can even select the recording of the data, which you can then check in the review tab. For example, the recorded trouble codes from before. This is VIN number of the vehicle on the left and this is the code there was in that vehicle. So I can look up all my previous scans. Then if you don't understand the default code, you also have the DTC library. I can input the code, for example, the PO. 400 EGR code and what is great that I can actually press this information button and it will give me not just description of the code but also list possible causes. You also have this I am readiness. There is also a button for it which shows status of your exhaust and emission monitoring systems. So all my monitors are okay that's why they are green. Those gray one means that they are not present in this vehicle. If the monitor was not passed it would be in yellow color. And on the top I can also see that I have two of the current DTC, so two current codes and two pending codes. And also this will tell you if your check engine light is on. Obviously you can also see that on your dashboard. But when you are checking used vehicle and they had maybe removed check engine light from dashboard, here you would see that it is on. Okay, and now the most important part is this OBD2, so all of your diagnostic features. And this Ansel is supporting all 10 global OBD modes. We have six different codes. They are causing my check engine light to be on. So we have some issue with this map sensor and intake air temperature sensor. And same as in the DTC library I showed you. You can press information and it will give you possible causes for that code. You can also erase codes, but before we do that I will show you other functions. For example the freeze frame data. If I erase codes I will also erase my freeze frame data. See now we have freeze frame for the trouble codes. For example the code P0108. We can see all the data exactly from the time when the code was stored in the ECU. You can check all the data exactly from time when this code was set. Then we have the live data, so data stream. You can either view all items as text values. See if I press on the gas pedal these values will change in real time. And what you can also do is view graphic items, which can be much more helpful to see those data as graphs. From all the code readers I tried, this Ansel is only one that is able to display three different values at once. So I can display three values, for example, short term fuel trim, engine RPM, and let me select mass airflow rate. And I can look at different values and also on the top I see max value for each parameter. On the bottom we can see the minimum value that was measured for all parameters. By the way, if you are confused about this live data, I have full video that will explain all of them linked up here. Then we have a bunch of other functions, for example vehicle information, which will show you your VIN number, onboard monitoring, this is also data from your monitors, for example misfire, you can see if you have any misfires in your vehicle, also separately for each cylinder. Then what you can also do is erase the codes and get rid of the check engine light. Okay, so let me select erase codes, reset emission related diagnostic information, yes, and now my check engine light is gone. If you are wondering why is this code reader better than most of them, first it will show you possible causes for fault codes, it will display three different live data at once and it also have fast reactions because some code readers are reacting really slowly to pressing buttons. This one is completely fine and it is not annoying me when I am using it. So code reader like this, I mean it will not give you all diagnostic data, code readers can work only with the range and control module but most fault codes will be in engine control module anyways and this is easiest to use form of OBD scanners. You just plug it in and you have fast device that will read you the codes and other data instantly. If you are curious about what other OBD scanner types are there, check this other video explaining all of the main types.